how do we prove that every graph has an even number of odd degree vertices? That's what we'll be going over in today's Wrath of Math lesson. I think this is a really neat result with a pretty fun proof, so let's get right into it. We'll need to know one main theorem for this proof, that is, the first theorem of graph theory. Quick recap of this theorem, it just tells us that if we add up the degrees of all of the vertices in a graph, we'll always get two times the number of edges. It's a very neat theorem, and if you're not familiar with it or its proof, I definitely recommend checking out my lesson on the topic. I'll leave a link in the description. But this theorem is pretty easy to justify. It's true because every edge in a graph is incident to two vertices. Therefore, every edge in a graph contributes two to the total degree count. So, if you add up all the degrees, you'll get two times the number of edges. So, with the first theorem of graph theory at our side, let's go ahead and get into the proof. And remember, we're proving that every graph has an even number of odd degree vertices. We'll begin, as we often do, by letting G be a graph with vertex set V and edge set E. And let's say that the size of G, the number of edges it has, is equal to M. So the cardinality of the edge set is M. Since we're interested in the number of odd degree vertices in our graph G, it would seem reasonable to try partitioning the vertex set into odd and even degree vertices. So we're going to let X be the set containing all vertices of G that have an even degree. And then we will let Y be the set containing all odd degree vertices. We know the degree of a vertex is an integer, so it's got to be even or odd, so every vertex is in x or in y. Therefore, x union y is equal to the vertex set v. Additionally, no degree can be both even and odd, so we know there's no vertex that is in x and in y. Therefore, x intersect y is equal to the empty set. So this is a valid partition of the vertex set v. Every vertex is in exactly one of these two sets. Now recall, by the first theorem of graph theory, we know that the sum of all of the vertex degrees of this graph is equal to 2 times m, 2 times the number of edges. So we know if we add up all of the degrees, we get an even number. And that definitely seems like it's getting kind of close to our result, that every graph has an even number of odd degree vertices. So let's try tying in the first theorem of graph theory with what we just did. Since we partition the vertex set V into two sets, X and Y, we can rewrite this sum, splitting it up into the sum of even degrees and odd degrees. So instead of just writing it as the sum of all the degrees, we can write it as the sum of all of the even degrees plus the sum of all of the odd degrees. So we're adding up the same numbers, we're just splitting up the sum to the sum of even numbers and odd numbers. And again, we know that this is equal to 2 times m. Of course, we're most interested in this, the sum of the odd degrees. So is there any way we can write the sum of the even degrees more simply, in a way that might be useful? Indeed there is. We know that if we add any number of even numbers, we're going to get an even number. So this sum of even numbers is equal to some other even number, 2k, for some integer k. One more time, this is the sum of all of the even degrees. Therefore, the sum has to also be even. So we can do some substitution. We can rewrite this equation as 2k plus the sum of all of the odd degrees is equal to 2 times m. Then, to really learn about the sum of odd degrees, we want to get it by itself. So let's subtract 2k from both sides. That gives us that the sum of all of the odd degrees is equal to 2 times m minus 2 times k. And we can factor 2 out of this. That would give us 2 multiplied by m minus k m minus k is an integer, so this, by definition, is an even number. So when we add up all of the odd degrees of our graph, 
we get an even number. The only way that's possible is if we added up an even number of odd numbers. Any time we add an odd number of odd numbers together, we get an odd number. Any time we add an even number of odd numbers together, we get an even number. And that's a pretty straightforward result to prove, so if you're not familiar with it, try proving it. But one more time, let me make the point again. When we add up all of the odd degrees, we get an even number. The only way to get an even number when we add up a bunch of odd numbers is to add up an even number of odd numbers. Therefore, the total number of odd degrees has to be even. So we'll write those three dots for therefore. Therefore, the cardinality of y, the number of odd degree vertices, is even. And that, my friends, is our proof. Remember that we defined y as the set containing all odd degree vertices. So we've proven that the cardinality of y is even, therefore there's got to be an even number of odd degree vertices. So we just do a little bit of partitioning, sprinkle in a little bit of first theorem of graph theory, and a little bit of number theory, and we arrive at our result, that every graph has an even number of odd degree vertices. So I hope this video helped you understand the proof of this neat little graph theory result. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. I can't wait for my world to turn.